Yo, 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 what it do? This is your guy, Mel Man, baby. We back in the building. We back at it. And I got to take the time out to give a shout out to everybody. Tell everybody have a happy Easter today. I don't know if you're going to see this video on Easter, if it's going to drop on Easter or not. It should drop on Easter. Hopefully it drop on Easter. So happy Easter to y'all. I hope y'all have a great, safe Easter. Be funny. Whoever find that golden egg, you know. I do find that golden egg. Take you. Go ahead and take you. $15 with that golden egg and get ready so you can subscribe to IM Mail, man, and do the monthly subscription for $15 a month, man. And the golden egg is going to be big, so you can go ahead and just lock it in and make sure you got it in there for the next month and the month after that, the month after that, and the month after that. So lock it in, man. But I, I definitely hope y'all have a safe and great Easter, man. Enjoy your family and friends because without the people, it would not be no us. It's all about the people. So now, with that being said, we about to jump into this about the people, about how this guy was a, so much about the people that he took something from an ex and gave to the next. So I just want to talk and see how y'all feel, because this is my opinion, baby. I'm just sharing it with you. I'm sharing my thoughts out of my brain and putting them into your ears. You know what I'm saying? Your ears, baby. Let's jump into this, man. Check this out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Media user has the streets talking after she posted a video of her trying to get her $3,000 purse back that her ex-boyfriend stole and gave to his new girlfriend. Here's the tea. Unfortunately, when she and her ex-boyfriend called it quits, he decided to help himself to some of her belongings on the way out the door. When she discovered one of the missing items was a $3,000 purse and confronted them about it, he admitted to giving her purse to his new girlfriend. He even said he didn't care and posted the girl in his stories. The woman even shared proof via DMs with the new recipient of her bag and hoped that she would do the right thing and return her purse. However, things took a turn when she tracked the bag using the air tag and tried to get it back. Not only did the new girlfriend refuse to give it back, but her mom tapped in on the drama and suggested that she just buy a new bag. So do you believe that Robert paid for a $3,000 purse? You don't even have a thing on the purse. That's why it's crazy to me. This is crazy. But you should be able to get you another one. It's her mom. That's crazy. That's okay. Were the new girl and the mom wrong for not returning the purse, or should the thieving ex be responsible for getting it back? All right, all right. Let's chop this up, man. Let's chop this up, man. Let's get into it, man. Let's talk about this, baby. So now we all got ex. We all done broke up with somebody. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, we sometimes have good breakups. We have in-between breakups and we have mutual breakups. I mean, bad breakups and so forth. Don't. So we all done had breakups. But do you take, would you take from your ex something that you bought, that you bought for them just to get to the next? Would you do that? Is that in your skin? Is that in your flavor? Do you move that way? Are you that cheap and that broke that you got to take something? What you, oh, maybe you saved up a couple and you saved that money up for a year. You're like, well, shoot, we broke up. I, I saved all that money for a year, so I'm going to take this money. And I'm going to get to the next girl let her benefit off of it. I'm going to use this as much. And what, you going to steal it from her and get it to the next girl? And steal it until the value of it is towed up and they say, okay, throw it in the trash? Okay, all right. Here's my thoughts on that. Me personally, I ain't going through, if I buy you, if I buy a woman something, baby, I bought that for you. That's yours. That is yours. You can have that. I don't care if we break up and when we go. I don't care if I bought you a brand new laptop, if I bought you a purse, if I bought you, um, I can buy you a car. But see, the thing about a car, though, it, it, it's smart ways to do a car. Even if I buy you a house, it's a smart way for me to buy you a house to where I ain't going to lose on that one that. You still can keep it though. I ain't gonna take it back, but it's just a smart way of doing it when you buy that house and that car. So trust me, I got I I understand that. I'm not coming back in there to take it from you. Like, hey, I'm leaving. You're gonna give me the car back now. Nah, no, nah, I'm not gonna. It's, it's always smart ways to do things. But I don't even finna come back. I bought you a purse, I bought you uh a necklace and all that. I'm not finna, man. You can have that ish. I don't care. You can have it. I when I bought it, I bought it for you. So obviously it must have been doing something right at the moment for me to take the time out to buy it. I'm not finna buy that and take it from you. So that is all yours. So for one, I'm not stealing nothing from you. And these are facts. Even when me and my ex broke up, I told her shit, you can have this, this, this. I, I'm not worried about it. 
I buy me something new. I buy something new and get something new and keep moving. Not tripping on it. And same thing, certain things you get left here and say, hey, you can keep that too. So I'm not, I'm not ain't nobody worry about that, man. Come on, keep it moving. Nah, let's go here. Some people are gonna say, Mel, we talking about a three thousand dollar purse though. Shout it. Dude and bought shout a three thousand dollar purse, and he ain't with her no more. She gonna be going out with the next dude, and that three thousand dollar purse gonna be on her shoulder with the next dude, Mel. Come on now, Mel. She walking around with that three thousand dollar purse that you bought her. So really, so three thousand dollar purse. I don't okay. You can't get another three thousand dollar purse. You can't go buy another three thousand dollar purse. I mean, I'm sure we didn't blew three thousand dollars on some bull ish. And we didn't go back to try to get the money, but well, some people they didn't have a football player that when I think spent a million dollars in a strip club, didn't want the refund. But hey, that was his dumb self. You can't get a refund. So three thousand dollar um on a purse, no, I don't care. That's you. I don't care whatever, dude. The value is not in the product. That's what you gotta understand in life, man. See, I learned the value is not in the product. The value is in me. I'm the value. I went and purchased the $3,000 purse. The $3,000 purse didn't purchase me. That's what you got to understand where your value lies. Under know who's the value. I went and bought that. I felt great that I could spend that amount of money and still be able to give it to you and not hurt. So the value is in the person. Stop putting the value in the material. That's what y'all get. Y'all got it tripped out. Now, here's one thing about uh, I want to say them air tags. Them air tags is some ish, boy. Them mug gonna get that. Them air tags. When Apple came out with them air tags, I ain't never had one to use one. My son got one, but I know them air tags seem like they can pick up no matter where you at across the world. <laughs> I done seen people that been on planes and thought they lost something and found it through an air tag. So. <laughs> Them air tags is some serious. I might need to go buy me a couple of air tags and put on some um, on my equipment and stuff because them air tags are serious. And so people better be careful with these air tags because Apple Apple done created some stuff that right that but somebody want to follow you, they can follow you. It is it, it, no hand, no doubt about it. If they want to follow you, they can follow you. Out them Apple air tags, man. They 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 they, they dope, but they're a little scared. They're a little scared, bro. Because who you gotta be careful with them now. Was the new girlfriend wrong for not giving the girl back her purse after the girl used her, the Apple I t- Air Tag to find her? Was she wrong for not giving that bag? Ladies, would you have kept that bag if 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 the ex girlfriend roll up and tell you, "Hey, the, the new guy you dating is my ex, and he didn't buy that purse. He stole my purse and gave you my purse." Would you have kept that purse? Now, some of y'all ghetto, ghetto females probably going, hey, yeah, I'm going to keep the purse. I'm going to keep it. It's mine now. He, she shouldn't have let him stole it. Well, you sound dumb already because how she let him steal it? I'm sure if she had known he was going to steal it, she wouldn't have let him stole it. So, And, and I, I ain't know about somebody, but somebody would say that. Somebody would say something dumb like that. He shouldn't. She shouldn't have let him stole it. How you let somebody steal it, steal something, they stole it? You didn't know they were going to steal it. But somebody, somebody slow would probably go with that. The new girlfriend, in my opinion, me being a guy, uh, if I was to say as a woman or tell my daughters, dude went and stole something, got something from another girl and gave it to you, you don't want that hand me down ass. You don't get, hear your purse, baby. Hear your purse. And she should have checked him. You going to go steal something from your ex and give it to me? You didn't even take, you didn't take the time, the courtesy. And, and, and you didn't feel like I'm valuable enough for you to go purchase me my own. You recycled the purse, so you re- you 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 bought it for her. You so you took the time out to save the money up or whatever you did to get the money to buy it, and then you re- you broke up. So you decided to make this a recyclable purse. Took the purse, and then came to me and like, here you go, baby. I bought you a purse. Man, so I. But baby, here you go. Take your purse. That's what I would think if I was a woman. I'm gonna say here, take your purse back. I don't want nothing, nobody to hand no hand me down purses. I don't even spill. 
It ain't even worth. It wasn't even worth three thousand because he didn't even spend three thousand on you. He spent three thousand on the other woman, not three thousand on you. He spent the the, the five finger discount on your broke eight. That's on you. And then you get why I get why she won't get. She don't want to get back. Look who her mommy is. The apple didn't fall from the tree because you heard the mommy. Why you just won't go buy you another one? You sound so slow. It'd be people like that. If somebody stole her stuff and they told her the same thing, that, I'm talking about the exact same words that came out of her mouth. The exact same words that came out the mama mouth and told the mama, well, why won't you go get another one? So the mama be throwing her, that's mine. That, but you just, you told somebody else the same thing. So why, why would you get mad at somebody else? I can see it now. I can see it now. Mama be mad. That ain't hot. That ain't hot till somebody so stole her stuff. But yet she on here telling the uh, the girl who purse it truly belongs to that um why won't you just go buy you another one? You see what she she get it from a mama. Why you be acting like that? She get it from a mama. She get it from a mama. That's what she get it. But you know what? I'm gonna tell you who the winner in this story is. In my opinion, in my opinion, I'm gonna tell you the winner in this story is the young lady who had her purse stolen. And people, you might say, man, how is she the winner, man? She, that was her purse. She just took a $3,000 loss on the purse. And, and, and the girl didn't want to give her the purse back. She tracked the purse down. And the girl didn't want to give her the purse back. How does she win from losing that? Let me tell you how I see that she win. This young lady went. She took, looked to go find her purse. She went to the girl, approached the girl about her purse, and wanted to ask the girl to give her, her purse back. And the girl, then her and her, her get on mama, going to tell her, why won't you buy another one? Here's how she win. And if she didn't shoot the girl, she didn't fight the girl, she didn't stab the girl. She tried to get it back. It didn't. Cool. I just had to take this one. lesson learned. Keep it moving. That lets me know she'll figure out how she'll get her another one. You know why? Because she got skills. She has assets. It's more than just sex with a woman like that. She knows how to go out and get her own. So that man that lost her, he lost a woman because obviously she knows how to do her own thing. But but he got him a, uh, 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 she might, the, the, the new girl is grown, but he got him a grown kid because she, while she were to walk around with another woman's purse on her shoulder and feel like she bad with a, another woman, $3,000 purse on her shoulder. It ain't going to, be a beneficial relationship, in my opinion, for them. But the girl that that um baby, don't let them don't let them hold you down. You're gonna get you ten thousand dollar purse, twenty thousand dollar purse, and it ain't gonna hurt you at all. And he ain't gonna be able to come in because if he come in your house, try to steal something in your house again, you're gonna have to read the you got I'm assuming you got the the, the right to legal carry. So you're gonna you're gonna say night night. You wanna go night night? You know, you know how Pinky did on uh on uh Friday. Next Friday, no, say one more thing. Say one more damn thing. Say one more thing. That's how you gonna be. You try to come in my house one more more time. You gonna let them? They gonna let them lose, baby. So you you didn't lose, baby. I know it's it's three bands. I, he broke. You learn from that lesson. You'll never mess with that broke sucker anymore. She got her broke man or whatever it is. She wants she happy with him. Let her and the mama deal with him. It's gonna come back on. It's gonna come back. Trust me. It's gonna come back. They don't see it now, but it's going to come back. Hey, this you got me man. Man, we getting ready to drop that new um, I am Mail Man website coming soon. Make sure y'all get y'all subscription, $15 a month. I promise you I'm going to take care of y'all. I'm going to bless y'all. It's going to be so beneficial, so beautiful. Right with you guys, man. We about to get ready and get up out of here. Stay safe. I love y'all. Keep doing what y'all do.